All right, I'm ready. All right, craft the desk. Let's 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 look at the goddamn arias. So I had a slightly controversial opinion of the original arias when they were sent to me because everyone was sucking their dick harder than Re Rebecca hitting. The let's go watch fucking cyberpunk, please. Um, now besides that. Uh, sponsor of this video doesn't exist, so check out my IEM channel, and that'll be the sponsor. Or my secondary channel, where I review um, software and do projects around the house and film it there. So, or the cooking channel, or the unboxing channel. I have lots of channels. Anyway, these are the new Stealth Magnet Arias. The original Arias, I complained that they didn't... Uh, do like all this magic jerk off shit that everyone was saying they did because other similarly shaped uh high feminines that were much cheaper did almost as good a job because it's very hard to make something like let's say you have this and then you want to make something that's half the cost and then you have to ruin it enough so that it's worth it still to go the upgrade but you also don't want to ruin it so much that it's not good anymore so they always just made it like 3% less. It's like, it's not worth it. Save half the money. But now we sit here with that wallpaper available in the horde and the $10 patrons listening to every word I say. By the way, $10 patrons, private behind the scenes telegram chat. Um, we sit here now with a upgraded set of Mayanandas. So these are Mayanandas. These are about 700 bucks. And I've got the Dakoni fenestrated uh, pads in there, the ones with the holes. And like, this was the final form. This is their final form. I've got this uh, periapt cable on there because fucking high feminine cables back in this day were real garbage. Uh, today, still kind of garbage. We'll get to the garbage cable. But I can actually sit here and we're assessing with the A90D on the new Aria stealths, and I've got the LA90, which is my speaker amp, which is very similar to on these. And I could say that there is an audible and actual, not just difference, but oh my fucking God, Arias. Oh my God, Arias. So where do we begin? I guess we'll start with the obvious thing is, this is not the cable that it comes with. Look how nice this cable is. Look, it's braided and fabric, and it's got this really sharp box. I don't remember what it came with. Was this the of like obsidians? I don't remember. But anyway, I'm using a 4.4 cable because apparently you buy a $1,300 headphone. By the way, see, I forget the diamond in the title uh, with gemstone. You get, what the fuck is this? Actually, that's the face she'd give you if you whipped this out of your pants. Um, it's a quarter inch attached with the, like, at least bigger than the quarter inch is the strain relief on it. So that you're left with this much wire to deal with. And then it goes to fabric. Much better than what they used to have. But look how stiff it is still. It's just It just doesn't want to be flowing and nice. Like, come on, Haifa. I mean, just any IAM company could show you how to do this better. And it's got it's still a little like if you bend it, if you kink it, it's, it, it the kink stays. It's just, I don't, I don't understand them. So immediately you're going to get these headphones and you're going to immediately buy something else. Maybe that's what they expect. Haifa men thinks of themselves as like a very high-end brand. Like, very high-end. And they expect all their clients to be very high-end people who would never even dream about using a stock cable. So why even bother including ones? They just give you the shit. Or they can give you better shit, and then I'd praise them for it. Um, one of the other little touches, they kind of... I don't know if they stole this from Dakoni or if it just is a thing that's happened. But when you get them to come in this box, it's a really plain cardboard box, which I don't mind, because recycling's a thing. But then you pull out the foam, and then this... Has a hardened plastic thing, and boom, you have a headphone stand that says High Feynman on it. Unfortunately, it is just like normal Kaizen foam, but it's not really big enough to support it with wires that, like, it just barely misses the table. So, if you want to buy $1,300 headphones and get a shitty uh, styrofoam stand for them, you get that. I guess you could creep it up a little bit, and it'll, but, but it doesn't, like, it's also not flat here. So your pads are going to be crushed in the top and bottom to, to use this. It's nice. It's a thought that counts, though. Um, are these full free spinning? Yeah, they're full free spin, which I guess is is fine. I it, it, It's better than having them lock at some weird angles. Do mine? These don't spin at all. The headband, this is the, uh, the cheaper, cheaper headband for $700. And here is the more expensive, nicer headband for everything above $1,000. Where it says high five in here, aria there, left indicator, right indicator. The yokes are much nicer. I will say these, despite being like almost identical looking, uh, are much more comfortable. 
Like they, it could just, it's like they fix the geometry somehow and the pads are roughly the same thickness. So I don't know how it's even a thing, but yeah, no, it's just like, oh, this is much, you know what it is? This is much stiffer to turn. This is like, uh, and it stays there where this is very, very fully free flowing. I could probably work that out if I unscrewed this and greased it or whatever the fuck I got to do. Anyway, these are the new because the magnet design has changed. They've gone with the stealth magnets. I don't know if that means single-sided or they stick with double-sided. It might be single-sided. They've also made the diaphragm thinner. And I guess you want to know the main sound difference as I've been going back and forth, losing my fucking mind. Um, currently listening to, by the way, the Sneakers OST. If you've ever seen the Sidney Poitier, Robert Redford, Dan Aykroyd, and River Phoenix um, vehicle about them being people who sneak into checking security systems. Great fucking movie. And the soundtrack is by far the quietest soundtrack. Th this song peaks at 0.47. So the, the waveform never gets to 100%, it gets to 47%. And that's like right there at the loudest part. Everything's super fucking quiet. But because it's super fucking quiet, it's super fucking deep. Like you have to turn your amp up. You get to turn your amps up. And you get to like extract all that detail. And this is the final straw between these two because I love my Arias. In fact, I even put the five XXs in the yard sale with the Coney pads, which improved them, but they weren't as good as the Arias. So I was like, fuck it. Well, if I had these both in my possession, which just was sent to me by a user, which means I get the link to APOS and Audio 46 and anyone else who has this. If this was mine and not borrowed, I would put these in the yard sale without question. I love my Ananda's. But what I like is when something is wide, soundstage, good, low. I like a rel I like a, an, an experience with my headphones. And the upgrade from this to this in that aspect of just like musical enjoyment is like 170%. And these are still good headphones, but these sound narrow and stuffy compared to the Arias. These feel like a high, the highest end planar now. It used to not be. It used to be put the RS was like, eh, it's doing a thing. This is the sort of sound I expect at a meze. A meze would probably do the high ends a little better. We've got to talk about that. I had one or two songs that were giving me like, like, whoa, tone that back a little bit. But then like 95% of the rest of the music is just like, this sounds wider than the Aries that came before, the, than the, and certainly the Ananda's. And just smoother, and the details. It, this feels, and in, this is gonna be like a weird praise insult, I guess. This reminds me of like a fever dream Sundara. The 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 Hyphen Sundara is there for some reason. It's moved. It's there, and the Hyphen Sundara is the most natural headphone you can get for like three hundred fifty dollars. You put it on and it doesn't sound like you're wearing anything and then music just sort of floats in and it doesn't have a lot of bass and it's it's, it's three hundred dollars so it's still good but it's like yeah okay so now take that and like multiply it by four or four would be the price yeah about four four times you get the bass and i'm talking about low end one of the reasons the sneakers track did it for me is it's got no volume there but if i start it over from the very beginning again i wonder if i could pick this up on the headphone hold on Let's see if I crank this. There's like, bwomp, 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 like so faint a sound of bwomp that like it, like if dinosaurs were walking 200 fucking yards away. I was going to say meters. Sorry, people in Europe. But I had to say yards. Bum, bum, bum. And it's just like, quivering. My eardrums quiver at the sound. And while this still has low end, this is n more natural. This has got this has got that feel of like freedom on it. These are the freedom edition of the high feminines. Probably edging more towards Susvara. I've never reviewed Susvara, but I heard it at last year's Capital Audio Fest, which I'll be going to, by the way, this year, which will probably happen before this video goes live, or maybe, I don't know. It's like the 11th through the 13th of November in Washington, D.C. So if you're around, look for me. I'm actually staying in a room in the hotel. Um, Bring your eligible bachelorettes. You know, this, I, if, I, if I continue playing at this volume, which, thank God, low song, oh, everything about these, screams hold on wait 
New song starting. Yeah. It's like you take a step back from the music. This is more speaker-like and, and just real than these. If I'm comparing directly to these, I should be comparing against everything. But everything is a lot. So in these reviews, I tend to focus on like the direct competitor, which in this case for me is Ananda because it's right there and it's half the fucking price. Mm -hmm. This has to be worth double, double two. And you still got to buy a wire for it because this shit is not acceptable. It's worth it. It's worth, it's worth every penny of it now. If the old Aria sounded like this, I would have praised the shit out of those. These are everything people said the Arias used to be, but now it's actually true. Unless my pair was bad. It could be my pair was bad. Um, they require some power. We're at 70 on the, 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 the D, A90D, which is a 10 watt per channel amp. And we were, when I was listening quiet music on the fucking speaker amp, I had it at noon or higher. On low gain, but still. And then here's the weird thing. If I pop it into this, which is the $200 um, Fio K7. We let that pick up and play. Let's lower you. We're on high gain at like 2 o'clock, but it's still... This is still remarkable. I said in the review of the K7, which must have come out similarly because I recorded on the same day. You can tell because I'm wearing the pants with the stain. Grease gun in my garage. I love these pants. I'm never not wearing the greasy stained pants. Shut up. I work from home. Um, when I reviewed this two hours ago and I was using these, even though I've been using them on other things, I'm like, I would absolutely like review these with this. So I'm not lying. I don't need to have the, the $500 A90D, which is the most, most discreet, most powerful. It's a two opera channel amplifier with a built-in DAC for 200 bucks. And these would still beat my Arias with, with, with not my Arias, my Ananda's with anything I plugged them into. These are just great headphones. Yeah, it, it's, it's like, it's like live concert music. And it, these would absolutely destroy the old, uh, the 1000 SE. Everything that's been this shape now dies. Except for maybe the Sasvara, which from memory sounded like this, but times two, which I know was even weirder, because that didn't even sound like a headphone. That was the weirdest experience ever. I would love to get Sasvara. If there's a new Sasvara, can someone someone please send me that? Hey, Post, hook me up. I know you got live of my connections. Maybe just go steal them from someone. What do you want it to sound? If you want uh, neutrality and uh, tightness, I don't even know if I could say no. I was trying to think of words just now that this wasn't. Well, if you're a bass head, you, you will still want these. Well, if you want really good detail retrieval, even though these sound further away, it still has that. Imaging, got it. Fuck. I can't think of a reason not to buy the Arias now. Isn't that a fucking, ain't life a motherfucker? Because I like to complain here on Z Reviews. I try to start everything at 100, and then it's fun to make fun of the bad points, like the wire or the stupid case and things. But then when it comes to sound, if there's nothing to complain about, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you. I, literally, that's it. This video's fucking over. Rebecca Wallpaper. Does, any, does that mean more to you than anything? Tits are too big, but that doesn't matter. Crudely drawn Rebecca Wallpaper's 500% increase in those on this channel since watching Cyberpunk Edge Runners on Netflix. Please check it out. Also, the soundtrack is fucking... I know what I have the soundtrack. I need to stop this, and I want to stay at your house. I need to go listen to that. So I'm going to end this with you guys. Uh, I want to stay... Fuck, I don't have it imported into my directory. All right, well, I'm gonna have to fucking deal with that now. Um, Patreon subscribe star, support this channel. I don't own a set of these. Patreon subscribe star, maybe I could support myself with one of these. No, I'd probably wait till someone sent it to me or just wait till the version three or maybe the new Anandas will come out with the stealth magnet technology, I don't know. Um, Patreon subscribe star, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, loss of sound demos, 
probably maybe maybe only sound demos and then the ten dollar chat uh talk to me directly ask me questions in that chat directly get all the other people to help you answer questions right now somebody's trying to find replacement speakers for those speakers and they're like my friend also wants these philharmonics and is like do you want should i get the jbl so it's great conversations in there and you get into a lifetime swap me channel when you join that channel so for 10 bucks you get in that and then you get into a lifetime swap me where you can buy sell and trade gear for the rest of your life or the people who are going to buy its life. I don't know how it works. Um, the wallpaper is available in the Horde. Check out uh, links. To, there is a generic sponsor link that's going to go in all these videos that someone will be able to buy on a weekly basis. So check that out. I don't want to shout that out every time, but I, I have to do that thing on YouTube where it's like, is this a paid advertisement? It might be. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. You're done. We're done. Links to things. And fucking hi, if I'm in. You've finally grown up. Now stop making the worst... It's not the, it's bad. They're bad. This is dumb and looks like the thing from the Matrix that he put into his stomach.